that ass. How many prostitutes do you really need? All I know is she put a tampon in her mouth. Welcome back everyone to a video where I will put my palm in Leon's face. Wow, dynamite intro, honey. I'm excited to do a little bit of this with you. Why don't we just get right into it and start watching a little bit of the cutting How is it possible to pull the wrong way? I don't know. You, how do you match? pull? Like, do, I mean, do you push? Oh, it just started there. Okay, I see. Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> what was? Did they plan her? Was she a plan? Definitely. Someone paid her twenty bucks to do that. She was trucking that woman in front of her, dude. She's dude, what is she doing? War it's like war? she just really didn't know. Yeah, but tug of war, <laughs> not push of if war. If you're 58 and you're doing your first tug of war, you know, a, a charity event, you never know. Maybe you're just gonna the push of war. I can't believe that. Two families fighting over who gets to take a picture in front of the Disney Garden, hon. We were at Disney not too long ago. I remember this. I mean, I, I saw this a few weeks back on Twitter, probably. Is this real? Dead ass. Is it? Can you imagine your children witnessing that occurring? How embarrassing must you be as a person to get in a family brawl with your kids there? The land of dreams, where dreams are made, and you're gonna get into a family brawl over some picture book? Like, man, Just, no. you can take the dumpster. Wait, you can remove, I don't know how I'm trying to say this, but you can remove the trash. You can take, you can remove it. You can, you do, you what you want. You can remove the trash from the family, but you can't, shit! You can take the family away from the trash and put them in Disney, but you can't take the trash out of the family. <laughs> Something like that. I don't know, I tried my best. Just give me a gold star and move on with it. It's one of those, like, I love people that make TikToks, like, I'm so crazy, like, look at me, I'm insane, right? It's always a little bit cringe. The dog piece, though, really just threw me for one, though. That glow up, though. He's gonna, like, do one of these, like, you know, like, this is one of, yeah, it's one of those things, like a trend where you make, like, a silly face and then the music drops and you, like, look super handsome or whatever. Here he comes. Yeah. As if you didn't predict that. Yeah, I knew it was coming. This guy's not impressed. It's whatever, like Neither I get it, but I. there's no way you can execute something like that without looking so cringe and pathetic. So this dude, I did a video about this guy on my main channel. For real? Yeah. He's an aviation YouTuber and he made up this elaborate thing where like the engine failed and all this stuff and he had to bail in the plane like crashed into a mountainside or whatever. Turns out, there's a lot of people in the aviation community that are like experts and like they watch the video and there's a lot of different things that didn't add up. Dude basically staged the whole thing to try to make a viral video yep. and intentionally crashed a plane, which breaks about 50 billion aviation laws, right? This was like eight or nine months ago, but apparently like the case is now coming to light and he's facing like legitimately up to 20 years in prison. That's a serious face So bomb. thanks for You're playing. You're dumb. Yeah. You had a successful YouTube channel. You wanted to make a viral video, you bailed on your plane, you're an idiot. So anytime you see those headlines, it's like, are they gonna do 20 years? Probably not. No, and even if you spend a handful of years in jail, that changes your life, you know what I mean? Fly. Yeah, oh yeah, you'll never be able, you you'll never be able to fly again. Good luck coming up with a new what style of content. What a dumbass, <laughs> yeah. Now you can just make prison content. That, yeah. goes, that goes pretty viral on YouTube. Like at cons that talk about like, this is how I used to cook, you know, Prison pasta, oh, and like, yeah. <laughs> prison Cheetos. The worst thing about prison was the Dementors. Ew. Okay, I'm gonna throw <laughs> off right now. Some people, what? Was that a tan? Yeah. Others doing alcohol, me in the back talking to an ossifer. Maybe she gets it and she's being intentionally cringe. All I know <laughs> is she put a tampon in her mouth. Yeah. Clean or dirty, <laughs> that shit's not written that. Blech. What's wrong with that? Blech. Oh my God, it's Fred. This is a throwback. Do you know who Fred is? You sh I've t Oh, we did a whole video on Fred. We did. Probably like in the first year of us doing videos. I believe Fred was the first person to reach a million subscribers on YouTube ever. 
I think I told you that. Maybe it was Smosh. What? He was one of the first. It was either Smosh or Fred, I'm pretty sure. First person to reach these shows on YouTube. Fred. Wow. Fred. For that to be the first thing to go to my subscribers is pretty indicative of kind of where we've gone on the internet. It's pretty accurate, honestly. Set the trajectory. But yeah. When can I go back to school? Oh, God. Oh, you never answered me with my car. Like... This is major facepalm. I saw this go viral the other day here. I have school tomorrow, so how do I get my car for tomorrow? Well, your car is told. It's what? Your car is totaled. This, this whole thing's crazy. Oh, yeah. Okay, so how do I get it to your school? You don't. I don't go to school tomorrow, is what you're telling me? So, this is how much you've seen so far, and I know the context of this, so it's okay. crazy. So, this is obviously a girl, she looks like she's in a hospital. Yep. They're with a police officer under interrogation, being like, oh, when can I leave? When can I go to school tomorrow? No, ma'am. You want me to be honest with you? You're going to jail, you don't have a bond, you killed two people tonight. I don't think you understand that. You do not have a bond. You are not getting out of jail. Your car is property of East Peoria Police Department because it's a crime scene. It killed two people tonight. You are clueless with that, clearly. I've already explained this to you. You're going to jail for reckless homicide tonight. You're going to jail for aggravated DUI for killing two people. That's what's going on. So no, you're not going to school tomorrow. You're not getting your car out of impound. Did you not hear what he just said? Like, what are we doing? Oh, so not tonight, but Tuesday I can yeah, get out there? I can go to my night class I on have, Tuesday. I have a night class, yeah. Ooh, I was supposed to go to my spin class on Thursday as well. Would that be okay? I'm learning about law. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think this girl's learning about consequences. She's learning about FAFO right now, dude. Well, I don't oh, even want to- Oh, I, don't I even love wanna, FAFO. I don't even want to say FAFO, though, because it's, like, tragic, but insane. So, in my mind, I'm wondering, like, is this just because she's so inebriated that she's this dumb? Or is there just some- Does she just not it's genuinely just a, understand uh, that there's a deep consequence for what just happened? Possibly some form of, like, psychological break or shock because, like, she maybe in the back of her mind subconsciously knows, but, like, is so in denial and shock that she can't piece it together. Did you just hear what I just told you? You said I'm not going tomorrow. I'm talking about Tuesday. Did you hear what I said you that said you- You said I'm going to jail tomorrow. Did you, you're going to jail right when we're down here? Yes. Did you understand what I told that you killed two people tonight? Yeah, so I'm just wondering when I can go to school. And then smiling in the mug shot? Pure area woman received a 14 year prison sentence. Okay. Wow. So she's gonna go to or school in DUI crash. many years. Yeah, you're gonna be about 50 by the time you get back from school. Be being completely careless about killing two people that tonight. That is crazy. You could care less. That's sad and pathetic and horrible all at the same time. Can you say that as a cop? Yes, ma'am, I care. Okay, so can I ask? Bro, put her in for life, dude. I don't even care. Don't let her back out. That's got to be straight up sociopath. Unless there's an alcohol piece that's like disconnecting the neurons in her brain. That was crazy to me. That's a brainworms moment too. That brain really time. is. Yeah, yeah I, I also brainworms. have brainworms. Obese is the N word for plus size people. Obese, please. <laughs> That's funny. That's just a troll account, this person. There's a lot of troll accounts like this that hmm. adopt these personas, then become like caricatures of progressive people, essentially. They do very well on Twitter because they're intentionally baiting people. For sure. And a lot of people get baited get people very fired easily. fired up. Even when it's like so blatantly obvious, people still go nuts because we're just so quick to viscerally react emotionally to things we don't like. When you're in on the joke, it's hilarious. Sure. When you're not, you look like an idiot. <laughs> she knew exactly what was happening. They gonna try to steal? Is that why? I mean, I feel like jewelers have to probably. Uh, uh, they are well trained. Yeah. Did she just block? Hold on. Did she try to raise her hand to grab it? <laughs> Man, she wasn't even looking. No, just she felt just it. Trained. If you're gonna turn away 100%. from a piece. Yeah, and then they Cut walk right. out immediately. Wow, good Kudos. for her. Yeah, well played, young lady. They immediately leave lots of lettuce. Would they not expect her to realize the piece is gone? Right. That's what I mean. If she did grab it. What are you going to do? Do you bolt at that point or what? In the second you get stuffed, you just leave normally? In 2002, a 19 year old British garbage man won 10 million pounds, approximately $15 million. He spent it all on drugs, gambling, and prostitutes. And eight years later, was back working as a garbage man again. That's funny. That's not uncommon, I feel like. That's like pretty. No, there's been. I mean, a lot of stories shows about that for sure. Shows about people that won the lottery yeah, and then money's one of those it. funny things, man. Yeah, everyone thinks that they would be responsible in all these things, but sometimes it can be the downfall of certain hedonistic lifestyles. You know, I've always thought it was interesting the idea that like money really brings out your true character, essentially. 
Sure. For a lot of people. Right? And also they were a 19 year old. So that's. I would expect you to go through that phase, but bro, sock away like 5 million yeah. in like a trust or something sure. that you can't touch. So you don't have to go back to being a garbage man. Like how many prostitutes do you really need? Wow, well, apparently a lot of them. I get for this man, too many. Blackjack and hookers. <laughs> Oh, boy. Oh! No, 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 no. Dude, kid was in first, too. Oh. Get a handle on your kid, man. I mean, whatever. Sometimes it's nobody's fault. Like, F around and find out. Ooh, that's a good still. I didn't oh. mean to stop it on that. Yeah, that's a face palm. That looked like a relay race. I think he was holding the baton. God bless. It's not the runner's fault, dude. When you're moving Obviously at that, not. with that sort of to, inertia, you dude. You come to a halt, and yeah. you don't expect yeah. Someone to just bolt out in front of you. That's exactly right. And sometimes when you're that age as a kid, you need to learn tough lessons. And I bet you that's probably the last time he jumps out on a track at a track meet. I would hope so. Yeah, that would be my guess. Just like this is going to be the last time I say anything in this video. Deuces. <laughs>